Okay, great afternoon. I want to address something, defeatism. Okay, if you're going to be a fatalist and you're going to have defeatism, you might as well just go and dig a hole, crawl in, because you've already let your spirit die. Okay, and if you're going to be a fatalist and defeatism, you've already given up. Okay. What a sad way to live. Oh, but I want to believe the prophecies of doom, but there are the prophecies of doom out there. Well, if that's what you want to hold to, if that's what you want to promote, if that's what you want to feed and give energy to, you be my guest. Okay? Again, the one question I have when people get into these type of attitude, how's that working for you? Okay, what's it bringing to your life? How's it feeding your spirit every day? Personally, I want things to feed my spirit, not things to kill it. But if you are on a self-destructive pattern, of fatalism, then be my guest, you have at it. But like I said, you might as well just go and dig a hole, put a banana peel right there, and just go right, <laughs> you know, just go ahead and bury yourself because you're killing yourself anyway. I just, you know, I don't understand that type of mentality. Okay? You want to go to reading, <clears throat> oh, but there's a prediction. Oh, but there's been a, you know, oh, my God, but I read an astrology thing. Oh, my God, but, 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 okay? I don't want to hear but, 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 but. Butts have cracks and they stink, okay? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> if you want to have your nose up a butt somewhere, be my guest. <laughs> but I don't want to hear but, okay? <laughs> Just saying, okay? But anyway, this this idea, this defeatism, okay? Why do people want to kill their spirit? Why are they on a slow suicide mission of just fatalism? Just give up, okay? Go chain yourself somewhere. Because, I mean, that's not the God that I know, okay? The God I know doesn't buy into, oh, you know, the dark powers are winning. They're going to win. They're going to triumph. That's not the God I know. You serve a very sad, sick God. If that's what you're buying into, that's all I got to say. Okay, but my God says, fear not. My God says, greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. Okay. My God is at the core and center of the whole of the universe. Not in some little pity potty, misogynist, white bread, nasty, failed Trump and his cohorts that are so scared of everything that they have to try to control, okay? Those are the failed people, the ones that think they need to control everything around them, okay? Failed, failed, okay? <laughs> so again, you can choose to follow all the conspiracy theories and dramas and the woe is me and the world is coming to an end, okay? Or you can try to understand that yes, 
this is not Oz and there's not a yellow brick road. Everybody faces difficulties. If you think that walking a spiritual path that you don't have difficulties, if you think that you're going to pay attention to God and that God's going to be so enamored of your attention that they're just going to make everything just peachy keen for you, then you got another thing coming. Difficulties come so you can gain strength, okay? Unless you knuckle in under to it, okay, and have a defeatism, okay? So you can either gain strength from it, or you can buy into it and just lay down and let them walk over the top of you, okay? Again, walking a spiritual path isn't easy either. There will come times that you are praying for death, and I mean literally praying for death because the next step is so difficult. Face the dark night of the soul. You feel the pain of the, of the universe. You feel the pain of the planet, and you can't even breathe. But if you have trust, then you keep walking through it. Okay? And eventually, you come out the other side. And eventually, you see what's at the core of the universe. And once that takes place, all the rest of this is gone. Doesn't mean that those of us that are resting in realization and in that stillness that passes understanding, that peace that passes understanding, have not walked through hell first. Okay, part of the path is you have to confront yourself, you have to confront your demons, you have to confront the, all of the uh, ignorant things you've believed to be challenged by it to the core of your being. It's part of the path. It's not easy. And you have to surrender to God in the midst of the fear and the unknowing. And you have to surrender 100% totally, okay, to find out the truth of what's at the heart of the universe. And once you have that truth, you can never be defeated again, okay, because you know God is in control. The shadow, let me tell you about darkness in the shadow. Every darkness and shadow has some grain of truth somewhere that got skewed. And it gets so skewed that it's pulled away from the light which gave it meaning. Okay? And it can sit there and sputter and growl and do all the things that little demonic entities do. If you've ever encountered one and you've seen them growling, spitting, you know, They want to tear you apart. They're growling. They're spitting. They're, you know, yeah. until you've encountered it, you know. But once you've encountered it, you know. And you know, like Christ said, fear not. They're at an end. There's nothing they can do. Okay? Okay. So, again, people, please, don't buy in. Or if you want to buy into those conspiracy theories and those dark prophecies and that drama, don't bring it to my channel. If you want to do that, go, go somewhere where that's all they talk about. And you can all dig a hole together and all jump in the pit together. Okay? And be defeated and be unhappy, be miserable, be drained dry, okay? Up to you. You have free will. You can do that if you want. But the rest of us, you know, will continue to go forward. And, you know, this will only make you stronger in the end, okay? 
So again, no, Hitler is not coming again. Not unless everyone becomes a fatalist and a defeatist and just lays down. It doesn't see the writing on the wall and doesn't stand up. But there are enough of us that will continue to stand up that won't allow that to take place. We will not allow them to take our country. Okay? This is a blip. A blip on a screen. That's it. Okay? So I'm going to leave this here, but please, fatalists, if that's what you want to follow, and you want to stay, you know, in this, oh, it's more, it's more than poor me. It's so pervasive. It's just so I can't, oh, uh, you know, well, then you can do that. So I'm going to leave this here because I've got to get to a phone thing. I keep getting a message, and they keep messaging messages, and they won't stop until I address it. So rather than listening to this ding for the next hour, I'm going to address that. And then I will see you online. Aho! But people, please, please, pick your way. You know, the great thing I keep asking my students when they start grousing and they start whining and they start, I go, how's that working for you? Really stop and sit and think about it. How is that working for you? Okay. If it's not working for you, then guess what? You need an attitude adjustment. Okay. You need to dig deeper. Okay, because you're staying on surface level crap. You know, every rose needs what? Fertilizer to grow. That's why I have the song, No Shit, No Roses. Okay. <laughs> we drag through the shit. We drag through the fertilizer. But let in the end something good come from it. Use it wisely okay, to show you what needs to be changed. Rather than trying to just sit there and smear it all over you and say there's a stench, okay? You don't need to wallow in it. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> don't wallow in it, okay? Use it to grow something better. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. I'll see you online. Aho.